welcome to Polly Live. Um, this is Cal Poly's own live web show where you can participate and ask us questions. Uh, we do have moderators standing by to answer your questions and some may even end up on air. Today we are live from Muir Residence Hall. Uh, my name is Kylie Mulcair. And I'm Noni and it's been a month since yes. our last show. It's been so long. What's been new with you? Well just last weekend we had our annual um, blue-green rivalry soccer game with UC Santa Barbara. Unfortunately, there. ended in a tie, but it was a lot of fun. It was. There was a lot of great plays. Yes. So, um, I too. recently just did the half marathon, the Nike half marathon. Up in San Francisco. Yeah. How'd it go? It was really fun. Couldn't walk for two days afterwards. Yeah. Walking downstairs <laughs> was the worst thing in, in the world. Well, it's quite the accomplishment. Yeah. Especially, I think I'm more proud about having to walk all downhill yes. on campus <laughs> than the actual <laughs> marathon. But, uh, yeah. Good it job. Was, it was good. Um, so I know right now it's midterm season. How are your midterms yes. going? Midterms, they are never ending. I've spent many an hour in the library this week. I actually have one tonight, so wish me luck. Oh, gosh. Yes. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see. I don't have any this week, which is super nice. Mm -hmm. I have to start Catch you know, start the prep early. Yes, for next good week. for you. That's I wish I could say the same. So I'm going to actually try <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Um, and it's also Halloween. Mm -hmm. Happy Halloween. festive. Yeah, I like this. I like the decorations mm -hmm. today. Uh, are you doing anything special for Halloween? I think I still need to carve some pumpkins, so I'm going to get on Pinterest and find some artsy ways to carve my pumpkins tomorrow night. Is it weird that I've never carved a pumpkin? A little bit, yeah. You should get on that uh -huh. as soon as possible. Uh, do you know your costume? Are you going to go on? No, it's still in the works. Yeah. You know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm of just last minute. dressing as myself, because people tell me I'm scary yeah. normally, so <laughs> that might just work out. We'll yeah, see. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Okay, so today on the show, we're going to have the Vice President of Student Affairs, Keith Humphrey, come talk to us about student success. But before mm -hmm. that, we're going to show you a video about the new Jacob Science Building 7. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. I was just telling us a joke about a relative of his. Anyways, we're here outside the Warren J. Baker Center for Science and Math, our brand new building here on the Cal Poly campus. And... We're gonna go inside and take a little tour. Now, here's the crazy part about the tour we're about to take. I've never been inside this building before, and I have no idea how to get around. I'm sure there's some interesting things inside. I wouldn't know about them, but we're gonna find out. So come on inside with me. Hopefully we can navigate our way back out. And uh, without further ado, here we go. So we are here on the first floor, and we actually did not enter the building on the first floor, where you saw us outside sitting with Albert Einstein, we went inside the building right there, and that was actually the second floor, which is where the department offices are hosted and a couple extra uh, other classrooms as well. So we're here on the first floor, which we actually had to go down the stairs to get to, and uh, this is where they have a number of different lecture halls. So if you have a big lecture on your schedule for the College of Science and Math, it's probably on the first floor, so always keep that in mind. Uh, I'm in a lecture hall right now, and it's pretty nice. I don't know where we are. I think we're on the second floor somewhere, and I just found a head that says, touch me, and I'm really good at following directions, so... Here we go. Riveting television, everyone. So um, we finished with a head. We went through the next door that we saw. We ended up outside. I don't know how that happened. Then we found some stairs. We went up them. And now we found this door, which we think is the door to the fourth floor. I guess we'll find out in a minute. But can we just talk about how large this door is? It's like the biggest door I've ever seen. I'm six foot two. And I gotta think it's at least nine feet tall. So hopefully I can even open it. Let's find out. It's locked, so that was anticlimactic. We're here on the fourth floor now, and the third and fourth floors are devoted to chemistry labs and chemistry professors. So we have biochem on one side and organic chemistry on the other side. And uh, I'm looking around, I'm passing every single classroom, and there's just really cool labs happening in every single classroom. So definitely a cool place to have a class. Probably a cool place just to walk around and check out. We're here on the fourth floor of the Center for Science and Math, and we have a picture of a fabled blue-footed booby. Let's get closer. Luckily, it will not flee as I approach because it's a picture. Wonderful definition. So we had this thought when we started this video that we would finish it on the sixth floor, the highest floor of this building, and we'd go and find you a magnificent view. So here we are on the sixth floor of the building, the biggest building in San Luis Obispo, and we went down the hallway to find a window, and, well, I'll show you guys the view that we have. Gorgeous. 
I'm here on the sixth floor in the lounge area in the middle of the floor. And the sixth floor is used mostly for NRMES labs and physics labs. And we also have some department offices that are off to my right here. I just caught up with my old professor, Dr. Garcia, geology professor. Well, guys, with us being the super detectives that we are, we actually found a way onto uh, the outside of the building. So here we are on a beautiful terrace, and we have a much better view of the entire Cal Poly campus. And we can see the rec center, the UU, the PAC, the stadium. It's really a beautiful sight up here. Welcome back. Thank you, Devin. Um, you've mastered the art of the Australian accent, so well done. Um, today, our guest is Keith Humphrey, the Vice President of Student Affairs here at Cal Poly. Thank you for joining us. Glad to be here, Kyrie. How are you doing? Hi, Melanie. Great to have you. Um, <laughs> so, if you wouldn't mind explaining for those who may not know, um, what exactly does the VPSA do here on campus? Sure. Well, I think Vice President of Student Affairs has the greatest job on campus. I'm responsible for everything out of the classroom. That's the easiest way to describe it, from orientation and housing, student academic support, career services, work really closely with ASI, um, all sorts of great things to make sure that we're helping students um, get great experiences out of the classroom and graduate. Great. So you're really involved. Very involved. Oh, yeah. I like it. So we're about halfway through fall quarter. What are you hearing from students? Well, definitely hearing um, that students are having a great time, mm -hmm. um, especially from first year students. Mm -hmm. I, I tend to check in a lot on first year students at the start of school. Um, so they've had a great welcome. They love their wow experience. Um, a lot of them are working really hard to find their place at Cal Poly. Mm -hmm. um, met a ton of people at the UCSD soccer game <gasps> last week. Um, I, I walked around, around the entire stadium with the president. Awesome. Um, we were trying to crowd surf a little bit. <laughs> uh, ended up, he was very popular. I was taking lots of pictures of people with the yeah. president. Um, but um, great time. Students are also starting to, though, um, say that they're feeling some of that um, stress of midterms right. and the fast pace of the quarter system. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I know in that first year experience, some um, students may be feeling a little bit lonely or lost. Do you have any recommendations of ways to get connected for these students? Sh sure. I think a lot of students start to feel lonely, lost, um, based on what I think I call the senior prom effect. Mm. Um, and so walk with me on this one. I'll explain it to okay. you. Everybody who went to their senior prom built it up to be the most fantastic right. night of the year. Right. It never is. <laughs> um, and so folks often build up how awesome the first um, quarter of college is going mm -hmm. to be. Um, and, and it doesn't always measure up to exactly what they think. And they're looking around on Facebook and all of their friends right. are posting what a, that. <laughs> what a great time they're having. And they're making it up too, their friends at other schools. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I recommend that folks don't put too much pressure on themselves to connect mm -hmm. and make friends. Go slowly, take advantage of everything that we have to offer, check a whole bunch of things out so that you find the right place to make your home. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know that right away it's very exciting, but then as you get to the middle of the quarter, that feeling wears off a little bit, and then you're sure. really here. Yeah, the honeymoon is kind of over exactly. right now <laughs> when exams set in, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Right. I feel like the honeymoon ends pretty early because we're on quarter system. Mm -hmm. Everything moves really it's fast. Really fast. Yeah. Um, what can students do if they feel like they're overwhelmed quickly? Well, I think that students should make sure that they're taking advantage of all the resources that they have. Visiting their academic advisor, um, the new Mustang Success Center um, down mm -hmm. in Building 52 right. if they're having any trouble, the Academic Skills Center in the library if they need some test taking or note taking strategies, study yeah. skills, help with a math mm -hmm. or science class. Um, there's just so many resources that are available at Cal Poly that want to make sure that students are, are looking for whatever help they need and getting getting there as quickly as possible. Right, and a lot of those that you mentioned, those seem very applicable for if students are feeling like they're behind in coursework absolutely, already. Absolutely, absolutely. So those are really helpful. Yeah, and they should stay healthy. I have a, my, my Halloween cup, happy right. Halloween, <laughs> full of orange juice because the pace of, of fall quarter is even getting to me. I'm getting a little bit under the weather, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm Cold vitamin C, around. vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're having a little problem hearing you, so do you mind if you might do that again? We have great information, we just want everyone to be able to hear it. <laughs> I want everybody to hear me too. <laughs> 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 okay, so we've heard that visits to the counseling center are up yeah. like 32% this yeah. quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, what type of services do they provide there? So. Um, count visits to the Counseling Center are way up over this time last year, which is actually a good thing. Um, it means that students are reaching out and getting help that they need. 
when they need it and and folks are not keeping things to themselves and so that is something mm -hmm. that really excites me okay. we have a fantastic new um, counseling center director who has added a ton of group therapy sessions to really oh, help students yeah okay. we've never had a lot of groups before um, group therapy sessions to help manage a lot of the different challenges that students are experiencing and a whole range of issues from relationships to anxiety um, you know personal issues and so that helps students a lot um, as well as the individual therapy appointments that um, students need we have new counselors this year we expanded the number of counselors that were here on campus from last year um, so it, it's going well and students are getting the help that they need really great and I know that one of your priorities is the student success and what does that mean to you? Sure. I think student success to me means um, creating the conditions that help students who are freshmen mm -hmm. become sophomores and help sophomores become seniors and seniors get out to graduation. Mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure that we're helping students um, be academically successful along the way, have the experiences that help them learn more about who they are, mm -hmm. the type of person they are, the type of leader they want to become and help them graduate and have successful careers out in society. Right, and your office is very involved with that. That's what we do. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, did you ever feel like nervous or overwhelmed when you were going to the university, and what did you do? Well, yeah, we didn't have things like Facebook or <laughs> cell phones or anything. It changes everything. It does change everything. We had a pay phone at the end of the hallway. Oh, wow. Um, back in the dark ages <laughs> when I went to school in the last century. Um, and so, um, you know, what I did is I joined a club that my friends were part of. It wasn't anything that interested me. Um, I was, um, they were writing for the school newspaper. Um, and so I just started going with them to newspaper meetings and took stories and eventually ended up becoming one of the editors of the paper. Right. So good stuff. Climbing it worked, that ladder. Yeah, it, worked, it worked out for me. So um, I would say, you know, what I did is, I think, helped me is just keep myself open yeah. to experiencing new things, even though it wasn't something I'd ever done before. Great. Thank yeah. you. Um, Mustang Fever wants to know, what are you going to do for Halloween? Oh, Mustang Fever. Hi, Mustang Fever. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you have a fever, you should drink lots of orange juice. <laughs> um, but um, I am, tomorrow night, I'm going to be a dad. Um, and so I'm getting dressed up as dad, walking my <laughs> two sons who are five and seven mm, around the neighborhood. Awesome. Um, they're on their annual hunt to collect as much candy as possible right. for me as, po as, as they can. Um, they're going to be, uh, my oldest is going to be a butterfly, mm. um, and my youngest is going to be a Viking. <laughs> Very fun. You know, you know these yes. two. Yes. Oh, Kylie goodness. knows Viking. Yeah. She's babysat at my house. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get you in. And so she knows exactly that oh, how appropriate those costumes are. I want to see are. pictures. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel tired walking around tomorrow, I know I can do at least 13.1 miles. 13.1 so. <laughs> miles. That's true. You yeah. can go the distance. I'm, <laughs> I'm we'll have fun with that. Thank you. Um, before you go, we do want to plug your office hours. Oh, yeah. So they are Monday from 4 to 5. Yeah. Every, every Monday from 4 to 5 oh, right. um, in my office in administration. Also, students can look me up on Facebook. Yeah. Like my right. page, too. Um, mm -hmm. Love folks to just stop by on Mondays. No appointment needed. Talk about anything. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much for being with us. Fun. Thanks for having me and have a great <laughs> Halloween. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, now we have a video um, from a resource on campus that can help you mediate conflict. So go ahead and check that out. All right, thank you for that video on On the Edge. I hope you guys definitely check that out if you have any conflicts that you need to resolve. So just to summarize this episode, mm -hmm. we talked a lot about student success with Keith Humphrey. He has office hours on Mondays from 4 to 5, so go check those out if you ever need help with anything. And there's also counseling services provided if you feel like you're struggling with your academics. Mm -hmm. Make sure to like our Facebook page. We have a lot of fun Mm -hmm. pictures coming up apparently yeah yeah so that's great yeah and um, please send us your questions at orientation at calpoly.edu and you can answer our live polls at the bottom of your screen so Somewhere click the area. link and our next episode will be starting <laughs> in just a few minutes so thank you for watching poly live bye, bye. happy halloween stay safe <laughs>